bringing the people behind our food to life. The reason I decided to, to raise Jerseys is I, I, I grew up with them. That's predominantly what my father milked. Uh, but they're a more personable cow. They're inquisitive, they're curious, they want to be around you, and they're smaller and they're easier to manage. For me, they have fewer health maintenance issues. Uh, they're very efficient with reproduction. Come on, ladies! Come on, ladies! Uh, as far as their product, they're the components of their milk are what differentiate their milk from other fluid milk, which is basically Holstein milk. And here's where the milk is. Jersey milk is 15 to 20 percent higher in protein, calcium, vitamin A, vitamin B1 and B2, more lactase, and it also has a higher fat content, milk fat content in it. There's nothing, nothing that uh, is as close to me as those girls. I suppose second to family, they're the most important thing in my life. Um, my whole life literally revolves around them, from my business to even what motivates me and drives me is the challenge of developing and raising these little girls from the time you see the baby calf hit the ground when she comes out all wet to the time she gives birth to her first calf at two years of age to the time they become mature cows. So when I go on vacation, I guarantee you my vacation venue is going to have a cow involved in it somewhere. Now is that really vacation? <laughs> She's been champion at Clark County Fair three times, ah, two times. Last year she was reserve been champion at the Oregon State Fair once. We see how she's got veins in her in her udder. Mm -hmm. Dairy farmers, we like that. It's typically a good sign of, of milk production. And there's her daughter, Mama and Mama Cass. Last year I went to vacation to Madison, Wisconsin to the World Dairy Expo. And uh, a descendant from one of my cows won her two-year-old class at both the World Dairy Expo and the All-American Jersey Show. That was uh, probably one of the biggest highlights of my cow career, should I say. The biggest challenge of being in the dairy business prior to my bottling operation was the volatility of the milk prices. I mean, they're constantly changing and never really kept at a high enough level to sustain profitability. So you're always at a constant financial battle, which uh, is why I decided to try and find my own niche in the market and establish my own price. This is a two valve filler. The smallest they make new is a six valve rotary filler. A dairyman in Vancouver, Washington had retired from the bottling business and he had a small setup and he priced it very fair uh, at a point where I could purchase it and get it installed. And then it was just a matter of marketing the product, getting it out there and hoping it would sell. We use vat pasteurization, which is the lowest heat, held for the longest time, and we do not homogenize. We leave our milk natural in its natural state with the milk fat still in its original state as it comes right out of the cow. When we started bottling, we, we did plastic and glass, and when we got to the market and started selling, we sold out of glass milk instantly and quickly discovered that the niche for us was in the glass bottled milk. This little cow's Clementine. She's not very big. This is Keeley. And this is Keeley's daughter, Kendra. And then that's Classy's sister, Kathy. And that's another cousin over there, Keeley. It's Cammy, Casey. Dairymen are, by nature, pretty conservative. 
And unless you're willing to take a gamble and a risk and accept the challenge and the workload of not only running a dairy farm but an, an entirely second entity itself in a, a distribution of processed milk may be pretty daunting to a lot of people. It was daunting to me, but I knew that it was going to be the only way I could keep these cows. So I took the risk. Ladies, ladies, give us some room. To get to where I am now, I would say uh, took a lot of perseverance, a great deal of determination, and not, not allowing yourself to give in to the challenges that a person's faced with in the dairy industry and taking on another business like becoming a producer distributor. And without the great product I have, I might not have succeeded, but because I have a great product with Jersey Milk, it's, it's going in the right direction. Originally, I think most everything was, was of the vat pasteurization style, but because vat pasteurization, even though it, it, it removes the risk of harmful bacteria, it doesn't give you an extended shelf life. 